Hi, now here we have an example on hypothesis testing which uh, you might like to try. So if you haven't done it already, uh, just pause the video, come back when ready and I'll run through the work solution. Okay, let's see how you got on if you did try this. Well, what we've got here anyway is an estate agent has been selling houses at a rate of eight per month and she believes that the rate of sales will decrease in the next month. And then this estate agent is surprised to find that she actually sold 13 houses in the next month and she now claims that this is evidence of an increase in the rate of sales per month. So what we've got to do is test the estate agent's claim at the 5% level of significance and state your hypothesis clearly. So there's two ways that we can do questions like this. We can either work out what the critical value is and compare the value of 13 to the critical value or we can do it the way that I'm just going to show you now. And I've done it in two ways. Okay, If you're on my website you should be able to see the two versions of this question. Okay, so let's just go for one particular version, which I often call just the basic probability model. Now, we need to define the random variable first of all for a problem like this. So I've written it out, or started to write it out here. Let x be the random variable, the number of houses sold per month. And the number of houses sold per month follows a Poisson distribution. So we'll just say where x is distributed as a Poisson distribution. Now I don't know what the mean rate of selling houses per month is. I know it says it's 8 up here but I'm not going to write 8 in here. I'm just going to call it lambda because the null hypothesis is going to work on the assumption that lambda, the mean, is equal to 8. Then we've got the alternative hypothesis, H1, which is that because the number of houses sold is now 13, that there's a possibility that that mean rate has now increased. It's greater than 8, and that's what we'll be testing. And we've got an observed value that we can use for this test. It's going to be 13. 13 houses are sold. So the observed value is just going to be small x, which is going to be 13. And I'm testing this at the 5% level of significance. So I'm going to put alpha as the symbol there for that nominal significance level of 5%. So where do we go from here? Well, essentially, what we've got is that uh, if I was to draw a number line, say, put it here, we've got generally, if we assume that HO is true, we're expecting eight houses to be generally sold per month. And we can expect some kind of randomness of number of sales around this 8 here. It's going to vary, but the question is how much is it allowed to vary? Okay, We've got this value of 13. And where is 13 on this scale here? Is it inside this red bit here, this acceptable region? Or is it outside? Okay, so if you're in this region here or less, this is the region where you're going to accept the null hypothesis HO. We'll just put a little border here, okay? And then if you're outside this region, this is the region where you would reject HO, okay? In favor of the alternative hypothesis H1. So what I'm saying is that we are going to reject the null hypothesis HO if it turns out that the probability of being more than or equal to our observed value here of 13 given 
that the null hypothesis is true. You could write that HO is true in here. I'm not. I'm going to say that lambda equals 8. Same thing, basically, that I'm assuming that the null hypothesis is true. That that probability turns out to be less than or equal to 5%, our nominal significance level. Okay? So let us work out. Let's see what the chances of being more than or equal to 13 given that lambda, the mean, is 8. And we'll see what this probability level is. Okay? And to do this, I'm going to want to use the cumulative Poisson distribution tables. Okay? The probability tables that give us probability being less than or equal to a given value. And I've got to change this because this is greater than or equal to a given value. So to change this, I'm going to say, let's have a look at the probability that x is greater than or equal to 13, given that the mean is equal to 8. It's got to be 1 minus the probability of x being less than or equal to 12. Okay. We've got 13, 14, 15, 16, and so on. So we just need 1 minus the probability x being less than or equal to 12 to be equivalent to this. Don't forget, given though, that we're testing with the mean lambda equaling 8. So if we get those tables out, I've got an extract here where we'd look under lambda equaling 8. And we'll look down the column 0, 1, and so on, OK? And we're looking down this column until we find the probability of x being less than or equal to 12, which is this value here, OK? 0 0.9362. So it's going to be equal to 1 minus 0 0.9362. And if you work that out, you end up with 0.0638 which is greater than 5% so what does this mean then? well it's telling us that we're not going to reject the null hypothesis because we'd only reject it if there was less than or equal to 5% so the point is our value of 13 is in this acceptable region. It's somewhere over here, okay? It's where the probability of being more than it, given that the mean was 8, is clearly more than 5%. Okay? If you're in this area here, it would have been a region with a probability of less than or equal to 5%. So, in conclusion then, would just sum up with something like this. So there's essentially insufficient evidence to reject HO, or it's not significant. This is an extract taken from the answer scheme, okay? Um, and they were happy then if you were to say something like this. So insufficient evidence to reject HO, or it's not significant, or it's not in the critical region. Okay, so I've demonstrated that here. And your conclusion would be that there is insufficient evidence of an increase or change in the rate per number of sales per month. Or the estate agent's claim is incorrect. Okay, so I hope that's given you an idea uh, on hypothesis testing for the Poisson distribution. And you should find plenty more examples of this nature on my website, examsolutions.net. Okay?